Hi Clive, here's another video for your uh, vault. Um, on this particular one, this is a, uh, a session we had on Thursday, I believe it was. Um, if you look at this, you'll actually see that uh, from your setup in this particular position, now this is quite reminiscent of uh, quite a number of sort of front-on sort of setups that uh, we see you doing these days, <coughs> and it almost looks like you've got that sort of uh, expression I've used a few times, that kind of inverted look, as if you've got, you're quite straight on your right leg, uh, even though you appear to be sort of trying to get the shape here. You can sort of see by uh, Gavin's here that it's uh, a little bit more pronounced with the angle of the right leg, purely because he's a little bit more on the wall than you are. Okay, um, you almost look like your hips are over here, but your top half's kind of over to the this side over your left leg. So we really do need to get you a little bit more hip on the wall there. And it'll just give you a little bit more tuck in with your right hip. And it's going to, that, that therefore will be able to allow your arms to hang in a better position. Okay, remember what we're saying about the right elbow being a little feeling of being a bit more tucked in towards the ribs on your right side. <coughs> and it's just going to allow you uh, a different sort of, uh, you know, direction of turn on the way back. So if we sort of take you back now with this one, and you can see actually here that you know, this is definitely improving here because we're we're starting to get less cupping on the way back. But um, ignore this, by the way. I think the old camera on the tripod must have moved because it was a fairly windy all day. So I don't think you've moved quite as much as that off the wall on the way back. Um, so ignore that one. But uh, nevertheless, you will see actually that when you go up to the top of your swing, you almost have this look here as if your hips are over here a bit and your top half is desperately trying to stay over here so you know it's, it's verging on really being a you know the sort of reverse pivot sort of look you know so you know really what we want to uh, get is the outside of your right leg almost being a little bit more like this and your uh, left hip really just being you know as close to damn it on that wall there with your knee there so that's really what we're looking for is that sort of position so we need to Get you a little bit more like that. If you look at the way that Gavin is on the right, he's a bit more sort of into himself on the left. Okay, you see the angle of his right arm there. And then as he goes back, his right side is working behind him, getting plenty of depth. Really sort of powerful sort of coiling action. It's going to give him loads of leverage now between the left arm and the club on the way down. Can you store up? You can almost see there the way that the angle of the shaft almost as he reroutes on the way down from the transition from backswing to downswing it sort of increases between club and left arm whereas with yourself because you've got up to that position now this is quite a short swing you actually did here but you can already see you losing that sort of store up as you come down here now this is where you get this the old infamous position here with your right arm which almost looks as if you're there and then back to here whereas we look at um, uh, Gavin, whoops, sorry, a little bit of a, yeah, you see you almost get that, and then that kind of look coming in, so it's a little bit uh, of the opposite really there, and then into the hitting area here, okay, so at this particular point I'd like to see really right over here at this, this stage on the left side, as well as your left hip over here, and this is one of the things we've got to just work on is, is basically, very simply, getting the right shape of the dress and then keeping in those same angles all the way up to the top and then back down into impact, okay? And then you'll get that natural bump that you're like really looking for. And then you're sort of doing this at, the, at this stage here, which is not quite your normal, because if you really worked it around, you'll actually see here the way your head's really staying down, 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 touch of the Titanics. And then you are eventually coming up at the end. This one, you'll hit it, and the head will come nicely around with the, the body all the way through to that sort of finish there. So um, we just need to uh, keep looking at that uh, setup there um, and do a little bit of work on that. I think we're seeing on Tuesday, so we'll look forward to that. Yeah. All right. Take care. Bye.